Today we're reading another chapter from The Little Brown Bear. <clears throat> the Little Brown Bear has a party. Little Brown Bear had been at Grandmother's house for lunch. When the clock struck four, he put on his little red checkered coat, picked up his little red cap, and ran into the kitchen. Higgledy ho, higgledy ho, it's time for Little Brown Bear to go. He sang in a very loud voice. Grandmother and Cousin Tilly Bear were making donuts. Grandmother was cutting them out and frying them, and Cousin Tilly was rolling them in powdered sugar. You may have a sack of nice fresh donuts to take home with you, said Grandmother Bear. Thank you, Grandmother Bear, said Little Brown Bear politely. Then he said goodbye to Grandmother and Cousin Tilly and started down Blueberry Hill toward home. Cap on my head, coat on my back, who'd like to know what's in my sack? He sang as he went along. I would, said the little red squirrel from the top of the fence post. Then come with me and you shall see what's in my sack, real dee dee, sang Little Brown Bear. So Red Squirrel jumped down from the fence post and went along down Blueberry Hill with Little Brown Bear. One mile here and one mile back. Who'd like to know what's in my sack, sang Little Brown Bear. I would, said a big white rabbit from an old hickory log. Then come with me and you shall see what's in my sack, little dee dee, sang Little Brown Bear. So White Rabbit hopped off the hickory log and went along down Blueberry Hill with Little Brown Bear and Red Squirrel. Clickety clack, clickety clack, who'd like to know what's in my sack, sang Little Brown Bear. I would, said an old gray goose from Farmer Penny's yard. Then come with me and you shall see what's in my sack, little dee dee, sang Little Brown Bear. So Greg took. <laughs> So Greg Goose flew over the gate and went along down Blueberry Hill with Little Brown Bear and Red Squirrel and White Rabbit. When they reached Little Brown Bear's house, Mother Bear was sitting on the front porch. Grandmother put something into this sack, Little Brown Bear, and we should all like to have a party with it. May we please? Yes, indeed, said Mother Bear, smiling, and I will give you all something for your party, too. Mother went into the house and just in no time she came to the door. Now close your eyes for a big surprise, she said. So Little Brown Bear and Red Squirrel and White Rabbit and Grey Goose all closed their eyes. Now open your eyes for a big surprise, said Mother Bear. When they opened their eyes, there was Mother Bear with a big pitcher of milk, clickety clack, green and black. Now you shall see what's in my sack, said Little Brown Bear. Then he passed his sack of donuts around and everyone had one, including Mother Bear, of course. And they all ate donuts and drank milk and had a very grand time at Little Brown Bear's party. The end. <clears throat>